Hi, my name is Ben. I'm part of the support team here at Interface, a gold partner for Bitrix24. And this is a video showing you the server monitoring and alerting tools that we have in place. Um, the tools use uh, Grafana's observability platform, which allows you to uh, visualize um, data collected from a, a data source uh, like your server in dashboards to monitor the health uh, of your server. Um, you can create um, alerts for each of these dashboards, um, which obviously allows you to uh, um, see uh, and, and receive those alerts uh, whenever there's uh, uh, something to, uh, uh, that might raise concerns. <clears throat> So it looks like this. So this is one of the uh, dashboards we've created. So you've got um, data collected here uh, from a data source uh, called uh, uh, Prometheus, which is uh, an open source tool, uh, and exported using something called uh, Node Exporter. And uh, as you can see, uh, we've got all sorts of panels here, uh, which um, visualize uh, certain metrics from your uh, server. Uh, for example, you've got the, uh, uh, the load of your CPU uh, over here, um, and obviously uh, an average over here as well, and this is the current load. Uh, so you can see that um, it's getting busier uh, over time. Um, you can also see uh, uh, we've got graphs over here, uh, line graphs showing you the usage over time. Um, and all of these dashboards refresh every uh, five seconds and get pulled, uh, like I said, from, from the server, from your Bitrix24 server. Uh, you can add additional uh, panels by clicking this button over here, um, or you can edit them by clicking on the uh, uh, panel itself and click edit. As you can see here, this is what uh, it would look like when you create a new panel. Um, you can create uh, the panels by using uh, the Prometheus uh, query language, um, uh, which obviously selecting you select your, your metric and uh, uh, have your formula in there or your query in there, and um, it will visualize that data for you. Um, you can also uh, import um, kind of predefined uh, dashboards and panels uh, in the JSON uh, language. Um, so um, kind of to save yourself doing it, all of this uh, by hand. Um, you can also set up alerts uh, for each one of these panels. Um, so obviously if you wanted to see uh, kind of any information, uh, receive alerts when um, uh, the CPU for this uh, uh, you know, for your servers over a certain um, uh, over a certain threshold, um, you can set up these alerts over here. Uh, and to do that, um, you click on the uh, uh, the tab, and you have the options over here. Um, uh, and obviously, in this specific case, uh, we're using variables, which you can't you can't use that. Um, but to actually uh, uh, send and receive those notifications, you'd have to configure uh, your alerts notification panels. Um, and to do that, uh, you click on the uh, notifications over here and notification channels, and you can click add channel. Um, and on the type, you'll see the different types of channels that you can you can actually use. Uh, all sorts of chat channels like Slack and Telegram, uh, Line and Discord, uh, email, uh, all sorts of different ways uh, to, to catch those alerts. Uh, you give it a name. Um, obviously, in this case, for, for emails, you'd give it a, 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 an email address and save it. And you can even test it out just to make sure it works. Um, and uh, that's it. Um, it's just an, a quick overview of our uh, monitoring and alerting tools. Uh, if you'd like more information, uh, you can uh, contact us at sales.interface.com. Thank you for your time.